So um, as of 1.30 today, of course, with the extra rain and with all of the winds that have been happening, uh, what is happening is that on Algonquin, uh, which had uh, in the past had pumps, the pumps are not keeping up with the rain. So we do have a, a, a couple of houses that are uh, really under extreme uh, conditions, and so we've sent in extra people. We know that uh, Red Cross is also there right as we speak. There'll be other uh, houses that are compromised, but we have one or two that are in bad shape. The second thing is, so that's in on the residential area, which tends to be the higher uh, ground, actually. Um, but what we know is in terms of the land itself, because this is a sandbar, and if you shake it, it can dissipate into the lake. We would have nothing left. So uh, on Friday, there was a breach here. That breach is much bigger now, um, and so the lake really has come in. Um, and uh, on the island um, road between Gibraltar Point and Hamlin's. We also know that a similar breach has now come in at 1.30 this afternoon. Uh, in our report um, at center uh, at the center island uh, beach and so we know now that there's now two breaches um, of the of the land uh, of the lake coming into the land and the land dissipating so even after the rain is done even after the uh, it goes down we don't know whether or not the lake will stay there or how we will reclaim those lands so this is very serious environmental impact and obviously um, there's a lot of impact on the residential community. I would say that people so far calling me are saying they're safe, um, they're okay and we do have the Red Cross there. But uh, people should not be going to the island if they need, uh, unless they need to um, and we are watching very carefully to make sure that people who live on the islanders are precious islanders are kept safe and that we have sufficient staff um, and thank goodness they've been so incredible um, that we have sufficient staff to uh, work on, the, on mitigating the erosion as it's happening. Have you um, evacuated anyone? Has anyone been removed? We have not evacuated yet. Um, uh, that we are hoping that we will not have to evacuate as long as there is sewer, water, and electricity. But we're watching very carefully on all three of those things to make sure that people uh, can stay in their homes uh, safely. Um, uh, if, in fact, they cannot, um, then the emergency uh, uh, risk management folks will pull them out. We, we know where we're going to put them, we're fine, but as long as they can stay comfortable, uh, we will try and do that. So show me on the map of the three breaches, or where are the main Members breaches? Members of council, please, if you can keep Main breach down. since Friday has been here, in this road between okay. here and Hanlon's Point. Thank you. So this, in this um, area, this has been eroded. Agenda, we're going to talk about now we're talking about the beach. That is at center, and now most of these beaches are now gone, but the actual breach is coming in from the center island um, uh, beach, and then what we have found is that there's further flooding um, in this area of Algonquin. Um, than there was um, last Friday and on the weekend, and certainly more than the pumps that were there can keep up with. 